so today was meant to be a do nothing with me day because I had zero plans which I'm honest first time it's happened in a while today ended up being the complete opposite I ended up going into work and I have plans for tonight so obviously I love that I have plans never complaining about plans but I was gonna do like a little productive nothing day if that makes sense but yes because yesterday I texted my boss because there's three of us I'm working on I was like hey there didn't need to be three of us in today which he knew himself because he told one of us if he's not to leave leave yesterday because he's on holidays um but I was texting me like hey if you don't want three of us in tomorrow I'll take the day off but if you want to sin I don't mind like you're my boss you choose and he basically was like have a lie on enjoy your day off um but then this morning at half eight when the girls text me being like hey Kate I'm really sorry but like I'm sick do you mind covering for me from 12 because she wants to do a bit of work you know and so then I rocked up at 12 she left she was sick fine so I worked from 12 to half three it's three and a half hours it was not that long at all and um, so I just done that so that was fine I didn't mind doing that at all especially when someone's sick definitely would rather for me I know, I know if I was sick I'd appreciate if someone else came up and took their day off to help me out so that's fine and now me and my friends are going out for dinner so I talked about this last video when I was getting ready to go to a beer garden completely lied I completely lied because we did not end up going to that beer garden we went there and it was so busy there was someone's birthday on so they like took up the all the tables there was one table just for balloons just a big 30 balloons on it i was like brilliant i didn't want to sit there anyways so we ended up going out to town that day i went to get some pizza and then went to get a drink it was very cute but now today we're gonna to go me and different friends are gonna go to the orchard again hope that will work out <laughs> praying but this is kind of i don't know spend the afternoon with me <laughs> because I just finished work and yeah I need to do a few bits before I go out I need to put on we talked about this we talked about my palace she's still as pale um so yeah just come along come along my day I guess well it's my day's half over <laughs> but yeah anyways a few things to do so you may as well come along because I was going to vlog and then this morning I seen the text and I was like, mm, there's no point in me vlogging in my morning because all I did was my dad made me scrambled eggs and I ate that. And that's it. So that's not very interesting anyways. But I'm quite hungry now. So I actually bought pastries home from work. Well, one pastry. But I actually don't even want that. So leave that for someone else to have probably... My dad will have half and my mum will have the other half. I don't know. It's up to them. But yeah, I'm just going to make some lunch now because I'm quite hungry. So I think I'm going to make up a little wee salad. Love myself salad. Um, But yeah, I'll show you guys my salad. I was famous in school in sixth year for my salads. No, okay, my friend group famous. Like they used to always slag me over salads. But like I just like them, okay? I just like them. Because actually one day as me and my friends were talking, it was like, oh, if you had a tattoo of something like for, say, it's going to sound bad. If one of us passed away, like what would you get a tattoo of? And one of them said, for Kate, I get a salad. Brilliant. I love how that stuck. Nothing, like nothing else could represent me. They couldn't think of anything else apart from a salad. It was like so fab. I was like, thank you. So, thanks. So, going to make a salad. It's so simple. Super, super simple. So I just have... Lettuce, chicken, mozzarella, tomatoes, purple grapes. Purple grapes are so much better than green grapes. If you're a green grape eater, no. Purple grapes for the win. And there's half an avocado there. But I don't know if it's actually good. So I just like throw everything in. Like anything that's in the fridge that like, looks nice, I'll just throw in. Okay, you ready? You ready? She's it. She's quite large. She, I was not expecting her to be that big. But I didn't put the avocado in it because... She wasn't thriving. I tried to cut it and it's just, I don't know if it's just, because oh, she's out of the fridge, but she's like a rock. So I didn't put her in. But yeah, that's my salad. So I'm going to eat this now. Then I'm going to go have a shower, pop on a wee bit of tan and start to get ready for the night. You know what, yesterday, 
I washed my hair again and I didn't blow dry. So it's kind of, that's why it's in ponytail right now, it's kind of flat at the top. So I think I might curl it to just voluptuize it. <laughs> so I've just had my shower, put on a bit of tan, hence why my face is this pale. But um, yeah, I'm just going to do my makeup now, then curl my hair. I'm not going to show that because I just, I'm not going to sit here and talk. So yeah. I will probably be done about an hour with my hair and makeup. I think it's just the front of my hair. It's real flat again, considering I didn't, considering because I didn't wash it. No, because I didn't dry it after I washed it. So I need to fix it. I think if I curl it or even put a roller in it, I might just give it some more body. It's obviously in a headband right now because I've had a button and just tore it down now. So it's actually a bit insane. But it's fine i was gonna do those few bits now i'm just in my pajamas letting my tan dry and yeah so i'm gonna start my makeup and then figure out what i'm gonna do my hair i'm normally i'm gonna do my hair no see it depends if i curl my hair i do my hair and then my makeup but if it's like going in a slick back or something like that i will do my makeup then hair but i'm wearing a little summer dress i have a little white one it has like little puff sleeves and puffy at the bottom i wore it for my 18th birthday um so i'm gonna wear that with a little green jacket i have i always talk about this green jacket never end up wearing it i'm wearing it today because i actually tried on this outfit before <laughs> like i put tan on and i was like yeah it's fine i'll wear this with take yes my white converse because they're just a perfect shoe i need to get a black pair me and my cousin were actually talking the last day about how so not that we have both really small feet but we do <laughs> um i'm a size four three sometimes depending on the shoe but so we can get kids once but i got adults converse because i didn't like the white and navy line on them and the on the sole of them and they didn't have black ones that were high top in junior so i just got the adult ones my sister gave it to me she was like it's a line like get over yourself but i wouldn't wear them if they were, had the white or red and navy because i feel like i'd have to wear red then it makes sense in my head so i got the black ones and then she has the black junior ones because they have the two black stripes as well and i was like oh i need to get a pair and she was like i've realized that the platform isn't as high in them as the adult ones which you think they'd be the same like why would they just make it a little bit smaller she was like there's a few different like little differences in them but i don't really care it's a pair of shoes at the end of the day but i just i didn't want the red and navy stripe because if i had that i'd be it would just annoy me it would really piss me off and when i had the chance to get a black pair so i did spend an extra 30 euro when i didn't have to over a stripe i could just call it on a marker but i didn't do that it's fine so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna wear my white Converse, white dress, green jacket. I have, hmm, what bag? I, I always wear my pink Michael Kors bag, just cause I, it, like it's cute, but it's pink, so it doesn't go with everything. Hmm, hmm, I think I might have a black bag. This is black buttons on the jacket. Hmm, probably bring that, but I need to get a few nice bags. I really want a black coach bag. You know, when they have like the, old hardware where it's like that kind of like rustic kind of gold love that i really want one of those but i just hmm, i need to go out to kilda village and see if they have any because i don't know i just like kilda village because there's only so many choices for bags so so i got my mac one um need to do that anyways that's your bag i'm gonna wear i have a plain black one from h&m probably end up bringing that because i need to get a new black one because that's just you know that was my sister's that i stole that she got when she was probably 12. Is she only 22? Yes. It's fine. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go ready. See ya. I'm such an idiot. I threw my tiny wet on my bed and now look at this. Look at this. Really? I just changed my sheets yesterday. I obviously just went like that and just threw it down. What? <laughs> to make myself feel better about my tan disaster bed sheets. I'm gonna have a Captain Morgan Coke. Because I got these yesterday when I was with Laura. Fucking hell. Oh. Um, and I legit drank one. I bought four. So I said I have one now. I think I'm going to struggle to open cans. How do you use a cuticle cutter? Cheers. Okay, so I'm all ready to go. Heather's on her way over now. I think. I hope she should be. <laughs> but basically... All right, go. I popped on a little bit of jewellery. I have these gold hoops from H&M. A little diamond necklace that 
my friend Kate got me, then my Kate necklace that my mother got me for, uh, well, and my father for, I say mother and father, my mum and dad got them for my birthday. Then I have on two little bracelets. This just one says Kate that Laura, my friend, got me for, oh, Louis Vuitton, <laughs> for Christmas. And the other one, it's like little Louis Vuitton stars. Like it looks like them, reminded me of them. Didn't get that for that reason. I just thought it was a pretty bracelet. Um, I got that in Paris during the summer when I went over with my mom and sister. My uncle, my mom and godfather, gave me money for my birthday. So that's why I spent it on. And yeah, I just need to put on my jacket and all. But I will show you guys the vibe if anything changes or anything. But yeah, I think that's all. Oh, my hair is kind of. I might fix my hair. <laughs> that last little clip you seen all the coffee for cans stacked i went to the bathroom for two minutes and then i went to go with drinks and i came back and not so much hair so it's about one o'clock now i'm just home the girls came back home with me because we're obviously close to the house and we just chilled out for a little bit and then they just left there so basically we went down to the orchard i drove and collected the girls and well he went down had a few drinks. They actually had this thing on it. It was like three coffee breaks for 10 euro. So we're just doing that. I don't think I've ever drank that much coffee break in my life. <sighs> Struggling now, to be honest. But it was over like a long period of time, so I think it's okay. Um, But, yeah, so then came back here, chilled out for a little bit. The girls just headed there. And, yeah, we got some pizza. It was, it was really nice. I liked it. The girls didn't. Bro. We got some like chicken tenders and waffle fries as well. And then, oh well, we were walking back home. We went to um, like a little place where there was a few shopping centers, like not, like not shopping, not a few shopping centers, a few little shops, like obviously out in the open, but like a little in a row kind of thing. That light is, I'm trying to stand, but my head's blocking it because um, my windows are black, so I need it on. <laughs> but I'm walking to there and we like stop for a minute to have a little, a little rest, you know. And we see this man walking towards us, talking to himself, screaming, laughing, like, really just loud. So, Laura started to run. <laughs> and then I'm there, because I stole a glass. Sorry, the old orchard, but I stole your glass. And I put my drink into that, and I was running, and it was spinning all over my hands. And then I was all plans, because that one was getting soaked. And anyways, basically the man was really scaring us, so we had to run away from him. And... Then we were all paranoid that he was going to come get us. <laughs> he didn't. We made it home. But he was just such such a creep. Like he was walking really, really fast. Like surprisingly fast. Like we ran. And he was still really close behind us. So unless he ran after us. He was walking with Tesco bag. Just talking to himself. Like creepy vibes. But yeah. Then we just sat down for a little bit. Came back to my home. And that's kind of it. I didn't vlog much of me actually out because <laughs> I can stand here and talk by myself. But when I'm with other people, I don't really like it. I feel like I'm being judged. I know my friends aren't judging me, but it's a bit like, I don't know. I don't like talking about it and stuff. So anyways, I got one or two few clips that you would have just seen. Sorry, this is my phone that doesn't have the broken camera. Why is, why is happening? It's just, is it? I don't know. Anyways, but that was my half a day. I don't know if I'll vlog tomorrow morning or not. You know what, you'll find out by the length of this video. <laughs> but for right now, I'm signing off. I will see you in the morning and goodbye. I won't see you in the morning if I don't feel like vlogging. Honestly, I probably won't vlog. So I will see you soon.